Good morning. It is 8 o'clock. It's another very beautiful day here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Eric flew out last night, so he is back at home. Francisco and I are going to do something a little bit different today. I rented a UTV, a Razor Turbo, and we're headed out to the desert to go ride. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're meeting up with some guys that you're going to remember. These guys right here. I just poured concrete with them in Illinois last week, so it should be a super fun day. I'm going to grab some coffee and get out of here. They got a lot of these. A lot. They really do. Oh, I think they're here. Yeah, yeah they're right behind us. What's going on? What's going on? You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, let's go. You're gonna go tear it up, eh? Yeah, 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 for sure. You guys getting a four-seater, two two-seaters? No, we had a, we, we might have yeah. had another guy, but we we're gonna get the two two-seaters, but instead we just got the one four-seater. Oh, you got one four-seater? Yeah. All right. More. We're gonna smoke you guys. We got oh, the yeah, two, sure. we got the two-seat turbo. Yeah, I know. We were gonna get the four-seater when Eric was gonna come, but yeah. he flew out last night, so. Yeah, I was, I was trying to get the four-seater turbo, but they were like sold out. So yeah? Like yeah, we just got here, so. Did you fill out the waiver online? No, I don't know. You gotta do that, that takes a little bit. That takes like a good five, ten minutes. Morning. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Did you guys ever drive it? Drive these before? I have and uh, I, I, went, I went to the Grand Canyon and uh, we went to Sedona. Yeah? And they have, they have raisins there. Oh, so you got to do this already? Yeah. So you're experienced. It was in Sedona, yeah. Mm-hmm. This one right here? Oh, man. <laughs> Things a beast. Yeah. You guys can go ahead and leave your helmets goggles in the machine here photos here we did our uh, morning inspection of the machining major damage and stuff like that so you more welcome to walk around so all right this looks like it's gonna be fun right we'll take care of it we'll all right that's the one they're gonna get right yeah I think that thing's so big though your thing is so this is the one for us I told you. yeah <laughs> Look at yours. Yours looks like a limousine, though. It's, it's huge. If you go over a bump, you're going to bottom out in the middle. <laughs> you drove in to a sun. That's just, you can only cross it. You cannot drive up and down it. So when you get to the halfway point, you'll be in the next town over. If you think you're lost or short on time, don't zip down the boulevard back here to us. As you give it, the faster this machine's going to go. You need to be at a complete stop anytime you're shifting. So make sure you come to a complete stop. The RPMs have came down. Then shift it in the low, park or reverse. Put it on the brake and start it up. Let it warm up for a second. If you need to get out and do anything, you're good to go. It can be. Catch up. <laughs> They'll never get away from us, dude. Oh, no. 
<laughs> it's scary when you like right on the edge of the. Oh, right on the edge of the yeah, that drop scary. off. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Francisco started crying like a little girl. I was like, come on, Francisco. Hey, you be scared. You can't even rip it. No, I know. Especially with traffic. You hit a rock. Yeah, you hit a rock hard. I felt You hit a rock? Yeah, you hit a rock. It's probably on the skid plate. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought I cleared it, but I, I, I must have bumped it with the tire. That was Did you double me? <laughs> Ryan's got that YouTube money, Yeah, right. I don't see anything. I like barely clipped it. I know I barely clipped it. I yeah. It. There was a section too where I looked back in the mountains. It looked like someone just like cut it and it was like completely flat on top. It's awesome. When you're driving though, you got to pay attention, man. You can't be looking at the rocks. I can tell you that. <laughs> I don't know how fast we were going. I didn't have like a chance to look at the speedometer. We were going at least I think the, like, the, the, the fastest I saw him go, I think, was the straight shots. So was like 45 only. We were only going 45? It felt like we were going like a hunter. <laughs> Hey, he said we were only doing 45. It felt yeah, like we were going 80 no, or 90. No, I was, I was just, I'm no like, way. I was like in the straight shot. 60? 60, 60. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I there's like, no I way like we, we were going flying. 45. I felt yeah, like we were flying. It felt we just we just passed this part where it like splits so we're probably like right here oh somewhere. yeah he said right here so yeah there's he, a place we could yeah it's probably said, like, wide open no i think you know? he said this one no yeah, yeah. oh yeah, no, yeah, this, yeah this, this section one. and this, this section yeah, yeah. so we'll yeah. stop while we're around and come oh he's driving pretty slow so we might as well drive now yep. i'm gonna let him drive since you're driving so slow <laughs> 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 i'm serious then you guys can both drive slow together <laughs> <laughs> These guys have never driven these before. I've never driven one of these, but I've driven lots of go-karts and ATVs and dirt bikes and stuff, so pretty familiar with everything.
man. Bro, it just started sliding. It felt like it was gonna flip over. I swear. I was, I was drifting wild. <laughs> I thought it was gonna flip. I, I, want, I just want to get a picture here, man. This is, this is ridiculously beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. It started sliding down the bank. Let me grab my phone. All right, that wasn't good. Hey, I was gonna run your bag. What happened? Man, flip. Why well, flip? Damn <laughs> You didn't see? No. He flipped over. No. Really? You didn't see? No. He flipped. Where do you think all my stuff is laying all over? He flipped completely over. You okay? Yeah. He's all right. No. Dude, he I got it on my phone. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he was he was flipped over. Oh, he completely flipped it over. Well, you guys flipped it back or what? It flipped itself back. It landed yeah. upright. Yeah. But it's dude. <sighs> Yeah, dude, they have to replace the whole roll cage and everything, remember? Whenever you roll them. Yeah, for insurance purpose. That's got to go back in. <laughs> Dang! Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I told him to go over to jump like he's been doing, but I think he's on camera. He was trying to get too crazy with it. He was like, I got to look good for the camera. He was like, boom! <laughs> Fuck that. It's all busted it's up, all busted dude. Up. The whole roll cage is bent. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, That's it's, not it's good. Barely messed up. I mean, honestly. I know, but they got to replace the whole roll cage because obviously the roll cage is bent. No, he came over the bump. Like going that way or this way? This way. It's not that bad. I don't know. We're gonna find out later. <laughs> At least it wasn't me. They're gonna hey. roast you, yeah. That could be your thumbnail. Francisco flips over. <laughs> right? Francisco, Francisco almost, almost dies, dies in the <laughs> desert. I I took the, hey, took the last picture. Hey, I tripped to the hospital. Place. Dude, look at how much sand you got in the back. Look at the sand in the trunk. Look how much is in there. <laughs> you were scared? You were scared? Not yeah, right, you liar. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you should have seen when he got out. He was spitting sand out of his mouth. Yeah, bro. I had sand in my mouth. <laughs> you were spitting so much sand out of your mouth. Oh, my. That's oh probably, yeah. It's probably what pushed on the, on the plastic and broke it. Wow. You're banned from the driver's seat. For real. I already have fun anyway. I I don't know, you I? know what though? They're gonna put him on the safety film. <laughs> <laughs> they, the one that we watch inside? Yeah. Like yeah. this gentleman here from Victory. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Watch the video. He didn't know what he was hey, doing and he just jumped it and flipped it. They're gonna have a permanent leg to your video on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the roll cage and that plastic over there. Yeah, that's it. Because well, it only it only hit like it only hit this corner, I think. 
probably bolted together here somewhere, right here. It's bolted right here. This comes off the frame oh, and then yeah, the roll cage is, like is bolted like there. Honestly, hey. at least you're okay, you didn't break nothing. Yeah, dude, I'm glad you're okay, you though. The roll cage. <laughs> at least you're okay, right. you I don't think I got when you were spitting the sand out on the camera, though, because that was really funny. You didn't? No, I don't think so. That would have been a great thumbnail. <laughs> all of a sudden, I see him spitting, and it was all sand and, and saliva coming yeah, out. <laughs> he was like, he was stunned. He got up, he was like, dude, and he was like, <laughs> That was bad. Oh, Let me make sure the thing still runs and works fine. You think got it? There you go. Oh, oh he turned, he turned. Yeah, you, I you, did get it. You probably turned your wheel, no? Yeah. Yeah, he turned his wheel. I was like, ho, 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 ho. like Daryl. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know you flipped over one time completely. Yeah. Very good. It's a good trick for your first time out. <laughs> at least you landed it, man. Right? Yeah, at least it landed like on the tires too. I saw that and I was just like, I hope he's okay. Oh, no. And that's going to be expensive. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, it was your fault. It was. <laughs> When you did it, yeah, I know. The hit was like, I was like, boom, boom. That hey, that safety does it does help you. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I was like, boom, boom. In my head, I was like, what? Hopefully, this thing is still. I don't know where those guys went. I know. We've been separated for a while. Yep. What's up? We were out. We were about to finish. Me too. Oh, uh, we went. We went all the way. We went to the left. We finished all the way back to where the main trail is, where we come in. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we went. We went. It's just that we got turned around right here because we saw you guys stopped here, so we came around, and by that time you guys had already took it off. Where are you, are you going back there? Or what are you doing? You guys want? We could. Might as well. I mean, we did the whole loop already. <laughs> Thirty thirty. Let's go. He huh? said it takes two hours to get through. It takes like it, it takes like an hour at the most. Yeah. Hey, remember twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard you guys. <laughs> for a while it's actually kind of it's actually kind of tiring in it yeah because it's kind of stressful because you don't want to die <laughs> right it's a little stressful right it's not so much about killing yourself it's about killing the person the people you're with yeah that or killing the machine <laughs> right francisco oh, yeah <laughs> what's this say who passed this way it's getting cold yeah it is getting cold water's coming Did you guys, did you guys go up and see anything? Yeah, they, 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 yeah they, 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 it's all over there. Oh, farther, like it's crazy. It's pretty cool, really cool. I don't know if you can see that. Like some stuff carved up into the rocks there. Petroglyph, petroglyphs. Some really cool rock formation here. I mean, it's just. Stunning. I don't know what in the, in the truck. You seen the falling dynamite? No. You see the mountains right there? That back in my day, I could throw a football over there. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> There's nothing like this in Wisconsin, that's for sure. Or Illinois. Be cool. Imagine if you were stuck up here all alone. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> that would be no fun. He'll survive. No light, just moon. 
Oh, it's cloudy, oh I bet it's black here. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It could be worse. We could have done that with the Lambo. Yeah? Can you imagine that? Because oh. <laughs> we were going to rent the Lambo. 350000 <sighs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see all that. There and all through there. And there's a whole bunch up there. Yeah. Look at there's even stuff like way up there. Yeah. Like way on the I top. Know. Look all the way here though. All that's drying. Guys are crawling all up in the rocks. That's so cool, man. Look how big that is. Solid rock. see what the damage is up. Not good. I'm a little nervous. You're gonna need the tablet on this machine. Uh, oh. All right, I'm nervous now. Let's see what the damages are gonna be. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be bad. He looks right up there, he's like, oh no. Oh no, no. Yeah, Francisco sent it. That's what happened. <laughs> the roll cage and that plastic, and then I'll show you too. I think I think when he came down, he broke the seat. Oh wow! When he flipped, I think yeah. the weight broke the seat. Those are the three things I noticed. I looked it over really well. You know the thing was though, we were gonna rent the Lamborghini today, so I'm glad it's this and not the Lamborghini. Yeah. Because yeah, that would have yeah. been worse than this, no matter what. So what's the procedure now? Obviously, so I'm in uh, I'm in trouble. So gotta, we'll form up front. You got to fill out. Yeah. Um, basically, it'll uh, take that three thousand dollar insurance deductible, and Obviously. everything just gets passed up to Polaris. Um, and then hopefully I don't hopefully I don't hear back from you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> hopefully it's just the three thousand, and you yeah. don't hear anything back from um, from them or us. See, the thing with these is there's like a balance because they got to get them off the ground because you're climbing over all the rocks, but then they get so high. These tip over super easy, man. Yeah. You watch YouTube videos and stuff, they roll these all the time. Like, isn't that right? These were all easy. You just dig your tires in a little bit around the corner and that thing goes over. But if they lower them, the lower the center of gravity, then you yeah. can't crawl over the rocks. Yep. So four, there's- four, four seat can ms really hard to roll because they're so low, but they're so low, they had high center on everything. But so it's so was- because the roll cage is tweaked. It's kind of tweaking everything. So it only cost me 3,600, hopefully. That's nothing, we can make that tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some winter work, man. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. They kept my deposit, $3,000 deposit, so it was like 3,600 bucks. Obviously not getting that back, but he said there's a pretty good chance that um, I'm not gonna get a bill for any more than that. He said hopefully it'll all work through and I won't hear back from him, but time will tell. I hope not, because the replacement cost he said is $43,000 for that machine, which I'm not interested in buying that. But it was fun. We had a really good time. Uh, was it worth it? Uh, was it worth it for 3600 I'll think about it. <laughs> it was fun. I, I'll just leave it at that. All right, should we follow you guys? All right, we'll follow you. I got a lot of sand in my ears. Look, watch. Look at that. My mouth, everywhere. I'm gonna need that toilet for sure. <laughs>
<laughs> he wants to use my bidet. <laughs> I'm gonna need that today. Oh, <laughs> for sure. I'll be sitting for like an hour. All right, we're gonna go get some some food. We're gonna stop at a restaurant, all of us together, and eat. And probably talk about our day. All right, let's just go. Here. You want to eat here? The only one was just a couple chairs inside of a gas station, so I don't think you want to. Oh, oh okay. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh about that for like the next couple of days when I think about it. Like well, as soon as you got air, it, it, the stuff flew all over. <laughs> <laughs> that was my hat. Yeah, that was, yeah. that was my hat in there. Right there, everything was already in the air. <laughs> so then we went to the left and went all the way down the trail I looking for you, because we thought you were ahead of us. Yeah. So we, we, we're doing the circle. Yeah, the yeah. circle came right. out. It wasn't bad at all. All right, guys. Alrighty. Yep, I'll see you later. Travels. Nice, nice seeing you guys again. We made it back to the hotel, to the parking structure. Six o'clock. We already ate dinner. We're gonna try to sleep good tonight. So we're gonna leave pretty early in the morning. You want a cookie? Oh, I got something for you. What is it? Take your hat off. <laughs> there you go good morning it is six o'clock and we are leaving about to jump in the car here i'm gonna say goodbye to this awesome room and this awesome view that i had was able to enjoy for the last several days pretty cool it's very nice but i am looking forward to getting back to my family long ride home <laughs> very long ride home not looking forward to it it wasn't too bad on the way here because we had three drivers now it's just me and francisco so it's going to be a little worse but it'll be all right i'm not going to get a coffee from there it's too busy yeah. uh where's your room key did you drop it in the yeah, box drop it over there. all right we can call that I'll drop it like that. we're leaving the parking structure it is it's 6 35 that's an hour off sun's coming up we're done we're done oh, yeah. francisco's always already in the back seat he's gonna sleep already <laughs> arizona and we officially have more snow than we do in wisconsin and no i'm not in flagstaff not even close the lady at the gas station said it almost never snows here <laughs> and they have a few inches believe it or not well, we're smack dab right in the middle of Arizona, just about. We're in Williams, Arizona. And it's hard to believe that they have this much snow right now. Ooh. We're home we're home already, dude. That's a lot of snow. I know. We had a snowstorm last night. You slept all the way till Milwaukee, dude. Yeah, right. So we're we're not gonna go to the Grand Canyon. The highway wasn't too bad, but once you got off the highway, and we still got 60 miles to go, and the road is terrible. So I talked to the lady at McDonald's, and she said, "Yeah, we get tons of snow." So apparently, Arizona was just like Wisconsin. I was always under the impression that Arizona was supposed to be warmer than Wisconsin with less snow. I think everybody's been lying to me my whole life. Six o'clock, we made it through Albuquerque now after our Grand Canyon fail. It's like 30 degrees, snow here too. It's pretty much been snow all the way through. It's bad, the traffic over here is bad right now. We're in, uh, we're in New Mexico somewhere, right there. And there's still snow like on the freeway and on the ground and there's a semi up here that just jackknifed. How's it gonna be so icy in New Mexico, man? Look at it. It's all ice. Everybody's just spinning. It's all black ice. I'm getting off the freeway, man. Look at the freeway. It's pure ice. That's bad. 
that guy is obviously fine. He's just jackknifed. It didn't crush his cab or anything like that. And it doesn't it doesn't look like he hit anybody. He just this just happened too. More crashes right here. Yeah, the guy with the pickup with the U-Haul crashed. He slid out. Oh no, what happened? Oh, it's on its roof. It flipped. That's not good. That car rolled. Okay, we almost made it to Texas, but not quite. We made it to a town called, I'm gonna butch this, Tucumcari or something like that. I'll ask the guy at the front desk of our hotel here, New Mexico. We're real close to the Texas border and we're gonna get going out of here at about 6.30 in the morning again. Good morning. We're leaving New Mexico, it's about 7.30 and I think we're probably gonna stop somewhere in Iowa. We're not gonna drive all the way home. We are in Liberal, Kansas, so we went through a little bit of Texas. We went through the panhandle of Oklahoma, and now we're in Liberal, Kansas, and I want to show you something. I have really bad luck traveling, so I just looked at the radar, and if you look at the entire United States, there is one state right now that you would not want to be traveling through. Hopefully you can see that. And it's, it's right there, it's Kansas. I was hoping to get into Kansas City uh, for dinner and have some Kansas City barbecue, but I don't know if we're gonna make it. We'll find out. I haven't told Francisco about the snow yet. So we're gonna drive into a snowstorm. Oh wait. Yes sir. Where? <laughs> Real soon, in Kansas. We are in Lawrence, Kansas, heading into Kansas City, and I'm going to ask around and see if any of these locals know where to get some really, really good barbecue. I came to Kansas duck hunting last year in the fall. I didn't make a video of it because we were unsuccessful, and my friend Levi, who was my host, he brought me out here to have barbecue. And I met the owner while I was here. I already know what we're gonna get. We're gonna get the sampler. You get a little of everything. It's enormous. All right. You get tons. It's so good. Well, you've been here, you know. Yeah, I was here two years, well, a year and a half ago. You guys have some kind of sampler. I was here once before, sampler. right? Yeah. You got this guy right here. It's a little bit of everything. Say you got right, four yeah. ribs, four wings, and any of those sizes was French fries. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that. That's plenty for two people plus, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah we <laughs> That's what say I thought. that feeds four to six. So. Okay. You already know they have good barbecue when they put a whole roll of paper towel on the table. Yeah, my camera wasn't on, but when we got off the highway, I absolutely smoked a curb with my driver's side front tire and then I smashed it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I know you guys can't see it, but my rim is all rashed up. It's gouged. I'm so glad my tire didn't unseat from the bead. That would have made for a really bad night. It's been raining and snowing and you can't see anything. And like right in the middle of my windshield wiper, it's wore out and it leaves a streak where you can't see very well through it. And the curb was like, it was an odd color. It just looked like it was part of the road. It was a grayish color and I didn't even see it. And I just smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Can you tell us what all this is? Yes, yeah, so I got... How was the food? Oh, five stars. I'll take it. Man. For sure. Yeah, it's awesome. We're pretty close to the university, right? Oh, yeah. We're two stoplights. That's what I thought. Yes, if you take a right at this intersection, you'll go by one light, and your other light is going to left, you'll be on campus. That's what I thought, because I was with a guy, and we came here, and then we went to the university, and I just thought, I, I thought it was pretty close. Yep. All right, there it is. Beamer's Barbecue. Super good. Super good. Five stars for me. 
from my restaurant review channel. Just kidding. That would be really bad for my health. <laughs> After like six months, I'd be like 450 pounds. So we're, we're not gonna do a restaurant review channel. Be like, what's that, what's that one guy's name? Ferrari, Guy, Guy Ferrera or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? With the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be the next him. <laughs> All right, back on the road. Not that I want to, but we need to get like a couple more hours ahead. We didn't get super far. We got to Kearney, Missouri, and the freeway is just starting to ice up a little bit, and I'm not interested in crashing on a Saturday night going into Sunday morning. So we're gonna see if they have a room here at Holiday Inn Express. Has it been snowing here a lot recently? It only, it only snowed here one time this year so far. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? The one, the one time that I come through. We are leaving Kearney, Missouri. The snow is following us everywhere I go. Feels just like home. We got about eight hours to get home and I can't wait. I'm out of gas. We're in Bethany, Missouri now. We haven't gone too far this morning. Um, the freeway has a little coating on it gives you that little bit of anxiety when you're driving well we're back in milwaukee finally sunday afternoon and the lock is stuck on the gate to get in the yard all right we're pulling back into the yard it is four o'clock p.m on sunday and that was a super easy drive right francisco oh yeah Hopefully bugs didn't break anything on my truck. He had to go out salting twice when I was gone. All right, see you, man. Well, thank you, Ryan. Yeah, what'd you think? Appreciate it, it was good. Except for the drive back? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I am heading home finally. So the World of Concrete was awesome. We had a great time. It felt like a meetup. Uh, there was so many people there that came up to us. It was a lot of fun. The drive back was not easy. We ran into snow in Arizona. We stopped at a gas station called The Last Stop. It's in Western Arizona and the lady there was like, you know what, it just snowed. I hope you guys are ready. And what direction are you going? So it did, it snowed. As soon as we left the gas station, there was snow in the desert. And as we went up to Flagstaff, it got worse. And there was snow all the way across Arizona, almost all the way across New Mexico. There were car crashes, there was, jack, there was a jackknife semi. Um, it, it just wasn't good. And then uh, the next day, uh, we continued on. Texas was super windy, but then when we hit the panhandle of Oklahoma, the, the snow started and it's, it kept up all the way through Kansas into Missouri. And it was just a rough ride. And there was car crashes. And uh, it, was, it was one of those drives where the anxiety was there the whole way, two hands on the wheel, if you know what I mean. And then this morning, we finished out through Iowa. There was snow this morning. And then once we hit uh, eastern Iowa into Wisconsin, the roads kind of cleared up. Overall, it was an awesome trip, but next year, I'm gonna be flying 100%, no doubt about it. Uh, it was an expensive trip with all that happened, <laughs> but it was worth it and I'll be back next year. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.